it's so it's currently like 7.30 on the 17th of August, which is day before results day. We get to find out our results from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I think UFS opens at 8.15. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd just do a quick overview of like everything that you might want to know before I like show you the clip of me opening my results tomorrow. Um, just so that it will make sense and obviously I don't think I want to talk through this tomorrow because I'll just be wanting to open my results. Sorry if I'm not speaking very loudly because I've literally just woken up <laughs> but I'm going to work today so I thought I'd better film this now and then I'm going to my boyfriend's this evening so we can spend the day like the night together so we're not too stressed before or like because I just know I won't be able to sleep. <laughs> yeah so if you haven't been on my channel before hi I'm Mara I did art, economics and Spanish for my A-levels and I'm hoping to do contour fashion in September at De Montfort University. I also applied to London College of Fashion but I actually can't get into London College of Fashion because for my grades to get into uni I need 48 UCAS points from two A-levels or equivalent and to get into London College of Fashion I need BBC. 48 UCAS points is a lot lower than BBC. I think BBC is 112 UCAS points. So obviously if I get the grades to get into the first one, then because they're lower than my insurance choice, I literally can't get into my insurance. So that was a hard decision to make, but I think I made the right choice. Yeah, so obviously I'm hoping to get over 48 UCAS points or to get into uni, but my predicted grade just to like give you an idea of what I'm expecting or like hoping for um, are unfortunately all A stars so I am probably going to be one of those annoying people that if I get like a B or even an A I'll probably be like get it done better I mean I've always kind of been getting those higher grades and they feel like how you feel about your results are so dependent on what you expected and what you're working like the grades you're working at so for example if you're working at like c's and you got like e or something or b's and you got d's you'd probably be quite upset if you dropped like two grades so even if i get upset over like a b or something like do you understand that it's two grades below like what i would have wanted but yeah i think in terms of how I feel about the exams, my like, predictions, I think art, I'll get A star just because I already know my mark, so unless that's like drastically dropped as moderation, I think that's a safe A star, hopefully. Um, Spanish, I'm hoping A star because, well, I've been working at an A star like, pretty solidly the whole way through, but like, you never know what's going to happen to the exam so like mm. and then economics i hope a star but i genuinely think probably a if not lower just because like the paper through really didn't go that well and i think i might have like like got bad enough in the paper three that even if my other two papers went all right i've dropped down to at least an a but i don't know because that paper i could have thought it went badly and then it went good all the other papers like, I could have thought went good and then they actually went bad so with economics I really don't have a clue with the other two I felt a bit more certain just because of how like consistently I've been doing well but I don't know but yeah I'll leave it here because this is already a very long intro but I hope that explains everything that you might want to know before seeing me of my results and if you are getting results tomorrow which will be today now I hope they went okay and I hope you got in where you wanted to go and that you understand how like hard you worked and how proud of yourself you should be for getting those results and yeah I'll ah, see you tomorrow okay it's results day and I don't know what to say I'm just turning on my computer it's quite dusty um the time is 17 so you guys should be open I don't know how I managed to wait this long wait I swear I can already see it why did I not have to log in it logged in for me okay now I literally have to scroll 
seriously, available in two minutes, 53 seconds. It says you can't refresh it. Look, can you even see that? Hello, no. It basically says don't refresh the page or you'll be moved down the queue. So have to wait two minutes, 30 seconds. This is the longest two minutes ever. I'm literally shaking. I'm gonna log into the, oh, I don't wanna see my results on the portal. Yeah, I've logged into the like portal that we have so that you can, um, let you talk. So you can, I don't even know how I feel. Cause I feel like, I don't know. I, I literally don't feel like I'm opening my results. It doesn't feel real. Like it just feels like another end of the week test. Like it hasn't like clicked in my head that these are actually my A-level results. Seconds. Okay, what I'm going to do is literally see the UCAS, see what it says, and then go to my grades and see what my grades are. Because I think my grades are already there, they should be there since 8. It's 8 21, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Oh, it's actually loading. Still, why would you tell me it's got 10 seconds and now you're still buffering? <laughs> okay, I got into uni. <laughs> now, see my grades. Oh my god. Oh, I don't think I'm ready to do this. <laughs> no, I can't. Why does this not feel real? Okay, so it says four A stars, but I got obviously an A star in art economics and Spanish, and then that's an A star in my EPQ. I need to look at what the grade boundaries are and then I'll like add them in. But I got in art, I got 118 out of 120, which I already knew, so that means it hasn't moved. This doesn't feel real. In economics, I got 280 out of 335, which I don't know how close that is to the boundary. In EPQ, I got 40 out of 50, which I also already knew, but it had to go through moderation. And uh, in Spanish, I got 359 out of 400. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. But thank you for watching, and I hope you did well if you got great today. And yeah, love you lots. Bye.